The August 22nd, 2012 meeting of the Intergovernmental Relations Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Antelli? Here. Chair Magamina? Here. Mr. Patterson? Here. Mr. Tucciarello? Here. Mr. Wilcox? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present who is not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? The next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have the June 27, 2012 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Mr. Clerk. Referral 12-245, authorized an intermunicipal agreement with the Churchville Charlie Central School District. Moved by Legislator Tuturello and seconded by Legislator Antelli. Is there any discussion on the item? Legislator Patterson. <laughs> I knew there would be. Yeah, you knew there would be. <laughs> Through the chair, what additional services is the school district providing to the sheriff's department to justify the additional expense for fuel? Mr. Chairman, I apologize that a representative of the Sheriff's Office isn't here, but, uh, and I will confirm what I'm about to say, but it's my understanding that um, similar to these other agreements that we have for the purchase of fuel with the 10 cent um, additional um, on there, um, that that uh, additional 10 cents is intended to cover infrastructure costs for the school districts to maintain these facilities, that sort of thing. Um, but I can certainly confirm that. That is my understanding. Through the chair, um, what specific damage or wear and tear are the sheriff's deputy road patrol inflicting upon these these refueling stations when they enter and leave the areas uh, mr. chairman I, I can't answer that unfortunately um, my understanding when I when I comment on infrastructure is just simply the the upkeep of the facilities um, capital expenditures that sort of thing but I'd be happy to get you a more comprehensive answer fair enough and and just to go through the chair, just to go along with that. Um, do the sheriff's deputies have access to the fueling stations um, that the city of Rochester has? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't believe we have intermunicipal agreements with the city for their fueling facilities. It's, but I'll, again, I'll confirm that. But it's my understanding that the uh, sites that um, we do have intermunicipal agreements with, or I should say the school districts, um, are determined based on their location around the county to distribute them among the different zones that the sheriff's office uh, has road patrol deputies operating in. I think that's all we have for now, but I will be sure to get you. Through the chair, if we could get a breakdown of exactly what additional services and what those what those dollars are used specifically for by the school district, I think would be a little easier for me to understand why we're paying this premium. Um, as it stands now, I see no justification to pay an additional fee for this fuel. Um, we are certainly providing a much needed service to that community. We are also providing a much needed and recognized service to the school district by having the Sheriff's Road Patrol drive through there. And since we are all one community, I see no reason to pay a premium for a service that is greatly needed by a community. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify <coughs> by saying aye. All those opposed? No. Item carries four to one, or three to, four to one. Four to one. Thank you. Referral 12-255, authorize an intermunicipal agreement with Jim. Moved by Legislator Antelli and seconded by Legislator Tucciarello. Is there any discussion on the item? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Referral 12-258, authorized an intermunicipal. Moved by Legislator Tucciarello and seconded by Legislator Antelli. Any discussion on the item? 
All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Referral 12-262. Moved by Legislator Antelli and seconded by Legislator Tucciarello. Any discussion? Legislator Patterson. Through, through the chair. Um, sounds like a wonderful program. Where did this program originate? Through the chair, uh, Rochelle Lempert, Assistant Chief Probation Officer. I'm covering for Robert Burns, our Chief Probation Officer. Um, this, this is a collaboration between the Rochester City School District and probation. Um, it's part of the Youth and Justice Program. Probation will be providing the referrals and the intensive supervision to the students. The Rochester City School District will be providing the academic services. Wonder through the chair. Um, Will it be possible to provide a little bit more write-up, a little bit more detail on this program by the uh, full ledge meeting? Yes. Um, thank you. Um, through the chair, is at, in general, everything that we get seems to have a cost associated with it, and yet I see no cost associated with this program. Um, is there a cost per pupil to run it? Um, there is no request for any additional funds. Okay. Rochester City School District will be providing the academic services okay. through their budget and probation will be providing the additional okay. services through ours. Okay. And also through the chair, it's noted in the referral that it actually saves us money as opposed to simply detaining these, um, these youngsters. How much does it save us per student um, as opposed as an alternative to detention? Uh, through the chair, that would save, be a savings of the daily cost of detention per bed, uh, per student, which um, I, I have it's, to get that information to. It'd be fine. Okay. By, by the, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. I, sounds like, again, um, through the chair, again, it sounds like a wonderful program. Um, is, in general, is this something that the county and the school district have come together and created, or is this something that pre-existed somewhere else? or? Um, this is, uh, through the chair, this is a program that um, has existed in the past at a different location, but the focus is, um, has changed to um, being part of the alternative to detention okay. phase of probation at this point. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Is there any unfinished business to come before the committee? There being no unfinished business, the August 22nd, 2012 meeting of the Intergovernmental Relations Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the IGR is scheduled for Wednesday, September 26th at 5.30.